Hello and welcome to today's video. So at this time we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra and looking at everyday apps, apps that you're going to use all the time, day in, day out, and see just how well they behave on this fantastic new Samsung Galaxy tablet. So sit back, relax, and let's take a look. Okay then, so last video we had a look at quite a few uh, sort of retro games. At uh, this time, we're just going to be doing some of the more basic stuff, really. So, I mean, calculator, well, you can't go far wrong with that, can you? Um, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's just a calculator. Um, I have known people say with these tablets that, um, if anything, in some cases, it can be like too big, but I can't see it myself. I mean, I just think it's fantastic. It's got all the normal Samsung apps and obviously it's got included Google apps as well as um, basic Microsoft apps and uh, I think there's an awful lot to be said for having so much real estate I mean I just absolutely love this you can uh, um, you know you just go to town on it really um, if you look at something like Google Earth I mean, I'm a big fan of Google Earth I really really love this one and uh just love the way look at it. it's so responsive. The uh, the tablet is so so powerful with this new Snapdragon processor. Things like Google Earth are absolutely fantastic. And why don't we uh, let's, uh, why don't we go to say um, Downing Street, the heart of uh, UK politics? There we are. Let's find. Oh, it's found Downing Street Saint in Bodmin. No, we don't want that. We want Downing Street, London. Oh, there we are. There's three Downing Streets. Imagine that. I live in Downing Street, Bodmin. There we are. Look at that. Zooming out, zooming back in. How fantastic is that? Quickly renders it. There we are. What a great app this is to showcase the uh, the S9. As it slowly loads in a bit more detail, a bit more detail. Gives us a little bit of information. Google Earth is such a great, great app, isn't it? It's just the, the business. There we are. That's Google Earth. Um, Google Maps. Well, it's a similar sort of thing, really, isn't it? I mean, um, you know, you, you'll find your locations. Very, very good brilliant in the car but quite handy to have as well if you're planning a journey you can plan this on your tablet and then send it to your to your phone which is great so you got your um, android auto is the latest thing within car navigation nowadays and uh, it can be uh, a fantastic fantastic tool so uh, yeah can't go wrong with uh, google maps the play store well the play store is the play store isn't it um I found uh, when I was putting this uh, tablet together and I was getting all the apps I wanted to really play with, it was a bit tricky to um, to find particular sections. And it said sort of based on you know, ads suggested for you. And some of these just aren't great on um, on tablets. They're just yeah, they're just not really, you know, but um, this was the best way to do it was to go to the top charts. You got top three, and then you've got all your different categories, and you've got. I mean, watch faces. Would you choose a watch face on here, or would you use your mobile phone? I don't know, but you know. I, and I was quite surprised, for example, that there wasn't a news subsection because there's so many news apps on um, on the Play Store, and I really like. I consume news a lot, and uh, I've got some of my favourites, which we'll take a look at in a minute. But you know, where are all the news apps and yeah, that's about the closest thing, you know, books and reference. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I think the Play Store perhaps needs a bit of an overhaul because it, I just don't feel the experience is, is quite that nice at the moment. So just my two cents. Um, the Google Photos app, well, you know exactly how that works. And that's quite personal to me, so I'm not going to fire that one up. Um, BBC News, though. Look at this. How fantastic is that? Um, you know, it has the BBC News app has... Uh, just had a bit of a revamp um, and I've not drilled into it properly to sort of break down all my sort of personal preferences but you know it, it, you, you can read this like a magazine it's absolutely fine um, look Amazon warns workers to come back into the office well you know there you go 
<laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's great. The BBC app can't really complain at that. In all honesty, uh, these are just the, the ones that I use uh, quite a bit. Um, Google Play Books. Now I thought I'd um, include Google Play Books as well as the Amazon Kindle because I use both. Um, this is um, Necroscope, which is an old, old book I, I had a, a digital copy of. And with the Google Play Books, you do get this page turning animation, you see. And that, I know it's a bit weird, but I really like it. <laughs> um, when I, um, you know, it, back in the day when I had an iPad, um, the Apple Books app was really terrific, and I loved the page turning out with that. That still to this day, that Apple one is probably still the app I probably use the most with um, uh, as an e-reader. But there's some good stuff there. I've got some in my library sunk over to it. So I do like the Google Play, the Play Books option, perhaps slightly more than, um, say, the Kindle. Um, chat GDP, well, you know what that is. That's just a, an AI prompt. Um, I did briefly show this one in my last video, but this is a comic book reader. Um, I'm currently going through um, uh, Conan the Barbarian. Um, and you've, this is uh, ad supported. So you've got it that way. And obviously you can just work your way through the comic book that way. You can just blow it up, which is perhaps a better way of doing it. Because um, I found, because um, you can read the comic reader, you know, like this but that to me is just unwieldy it's too long and thin it's something like this tablet it's no it can be too big you can have too much of a good thing so i think this way of reading the comics is actually quite nice and even if you fitted a comic to the sides of the screen i don't think it's too bad you know so um yeah comic book reader something i like and the one that i've got installed that i recommend is uh comic screen is what it's called um it is a paid app it's about 3.99 now we've got my favorite um news app of all for newspapers and that's uh, the guardian one and uh the Guardian is supported by donations, so it really does need uh, people to subscribe to it. So if I'm going away for like, you know, a couple of weeks, say, uh, although I've got a lot of traveling, I don't mind chucking them a pound or two um, because I, I do read it a lot. Um, I'm not currently subscribed to it, but out of all of the ones, I think this would be the one I would actually be willing to stump up some money for because the quality of the writing is excellent. The BBC one's great as a free app, but it's full of errors and spelling mistakes and things like that. The Guardian app is absolutely excellent. So I do uh, recommend this. It's got good unbiased coverage. And um, I think it's it's just, you know, the best newspaper app out there bar none. In fact, um, if I'm traveling and I you know don't want to get my check out, I will just buy the, buy the newspaper. It's, it would be my choice. So there you go. You know, I'm now a Guardian reader, <laughs> but as you can see, it's good, good stuff here, you know, and uh, very, very readable indeed all right so now i'm back on the uh, imdb app here i've connected my phone via uh, a wi-fi hotspot just to uh make it a little bit zippier while we're here in the uh, in the studio because i'm quite a bit away from the, the the house where the wi-fi is and i notice yeah, it's still a little bit of lag it may just be um uh just the nature of the beast as it were you know here's a uh, karen gillen First came to my attention when um, she was in Doctor Who. And uh, if you do get the chance to watch some of her behind the scenes while they were filming uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, actually really, really good. So, uh, yeah, IMDb, it's a great website. And uh, I, uh, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, now let's look at the Kindle app. So um there's some great stuff on the kindle and if you're an amazon prime member for example like this one here i was able to get batman year one which is an absolutely stonking graphic novel i mean it is really really great and um reading comics on the kindle app is actually a real delight you know the one that i got my conan one is just one that was in my collection and i've um yeah you, know, you have to sort of manually do that but this one here i mean you know it's uh it's really great isn't it now one thing you'll notice so i'm here in my studio and i've got lots of uh sound cushions up of it if we go back a page you can sort of see around here you can see sort of a reflection of the ceiling now this is a highly highly reflective tablet and i am filming this with my sort of studio lighting on quite a way behind me but 
you might find, you know, even holding this in your hands, you're going to have to have this tablet at an exact angle just so that it's not going all over the place. Um, and it might, in the end, it might just, um, it, you know, it might really annoy you. So just bear that in mind, you know. But just look at this. When you're reading through stuff like this, this is terrific. And this is completely free if you've got Amazon Prime. And there's lots of comics you can download as well. Very, very good. What a great comic. This is. I bought it when it came out and uh, highly, highly enjoyable. Um, so, yeah, got that as part of my Kindle library. If we look at something else, I don't know, like I don't know, Flashman, which is one that I downloaded. It's good because you go right back to, if I go back to the start here, you've got your cover. You know, this is this is one I bought from the, from the Kindle store. Then you've got your normal introduction but on this kindle app on this screen i don't know what you think but i've got this you know obviously all the settings on all these apps are maxed out but i don't think that text is this is a genuine legitimate copy i don't think it's quite as sharp as it could be and i i think the actual resolution of some of these copies needs to be some of these books from the Kindle store need to be slightly higher to cope with tablets with screens that are this sort of high definition. And as you can see, I've got it set to two pages, a bit like an ordinary book, um, rather than the one page. But I just, this is so, yeah, I just prefer that beautiful page animation in the Google Books app. So maybe that's just me, but there you go. Um, We've also got Google News. I haven't actually set this one up yet, but this is an alternative that I have used. I've got it on my phones as well, and I do quite enjoy going through uh, the news app. I just thought it looks a little bit dark, doesn't it? Let me just increase the uh, brightness here. There we are, so it might look a little bit brighter now. But Google News is one of those ones that learns the sorts of things that you like to read, and will then slowly but surely move them towards the top. And uh, yeah. It's uh, it's quite a good one, that Google News. So worth it as an alternative. And, uh, well, an absolute classic, Wikipedia. I mean, you know, you can't go far wrong with Wikipedia. Often it's almost as quick just to look something up on Google and you'll get the Wikipedia option if that's how you like to do it. But some of the advantages, you know, you can, you know, the article of the day, for example, is usually quite good. This day in history is always interesting if you're just stuck with something to read. Um, it'll have you know stuff that's in the news, a bit about Oppenheimer there, because the, the latest movie. So there's always something interesting to find on Wikipedia, I think. And uh, the app is is no different. So uh, it is, I think, one of those. It's completely free, so probably worth uh, doing it. Uh, it. It knows I like snooker. So it's a little article there on the 1980 World Snooker Championship. What tournament that was? I think, was that the one uh, Cliff, Witch, uh, Cliff Thorburn won? I don't know. I can't remember now. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, well, Amazon. Well, I mean, everyone's going to be using Amazon, aren't they? And this is Amazon Shopping, so you can search on Amazon for stuff. So if we uh, search for... Um, Let's look for Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra case. I'm actually still looking for a case for this. If you can believe, I still can't make up my mind what to get. Um, so consequently, this has not been traveling with me just yet. But a lot of the S9 specific cases I've found are really just new versions of S8 cases. The official Samsung ones are just a bit on the... Um, expensive side they're just ridiculous but this doesn't, doesn't seem too bad you know let's have a look at this i think what i'm waiting for is for another youtuber to do me the favor of buying five or six actually in the hand trying them and then i'll be able to make my mind up <laughs> until then um the tablet is staying um safely at home however for 1728 that doesn't seem too bad value for that one Anyway, Amazon shopping, it is what it is. It's, it's optimized on all different systems. It's a great little app. Um, eBay, once again, it's the same thing. You know, eBay, eBay is eBay, isn't it? You know, I mean, you know, you're not going to go far wrong. Let's look at this one. This is a book I've got lined up for my, uh, holiday. I mean, it's just, 
it is what it is you know it's uh you're not going to go far wrong i mean where the tablet perhaps could shine is if you pick something old like if we say uh, uh vintage matchbox um because i collect old matchbox toys amongst other things um if i can do it now still i still haven't got used to doing the um with the extra delete key going back there. So I might change my keyboard settings at some point. But if we look at something like this, so this is a collection of old Matchbox toys, nothing that I would really buy, but there's lots of photos here. Now, on the face of it, pretty good. But if you blow it up on this big tablet, you're gonna have a real good look. Look at this, look at the detail you can go in here. This is what you need if you're if you're doing some serious buying. This is absolutely as good as having a look on a um, on a big computer screen. I mean, absolutely epic this is the way to do it look at the detail you can go into there on those photos so yeah ebay quite a nice experience on the tablet you have to say right facebook well you know facebook is facebook isn't it well how so you know it is what it is if anything it's too big that is too big all right, so you don't want to browse Facebook like that. And lengthways, as I said, it just doesn't lend itself. Same could be said for Twitter or X. Um, so if we have a look, um, oh, it looks like it's got my, it's got the wrong account. So let's go into the correct account here. So this is, you know, book related stuff. Doctor Who, yeah, this is all, this is my normal Twitter feed. And once again, you could say, it's a bit much, it's just a bit much. So what I would suggest with apps like that is you've got your sidebar over here. So, so you pull your Facebook out like that and then we'll add Twitter to it as well. So we can have two running at once if we, we have to have, yeah, have it that way around. So we've got uh, Facebook on this side when it sort of resizes itself. There we are. So we've got Facebook on that side and we've got Twitter on that side. And it's a bit more of an experience. You can be two social medias at the same time. This is the way to do it, isn't it? You know, <laughs> and that's a bit more of a manageable thing. Um, I often have three going at once. So you can have um, you can have three. You can you can save these. So you could even introduce, say, Instagram. So we could have Instagram under here as well. So I've got my Twitter coming in. I got me uh, got me uh, Instagram going on as well. You know, you can go to town. You can go to town. Oh, what's happening on Facebook? No, no, quick. Let me tweet this. Let me do that. You see what I mean? <laughs> it's a bit more manageable than um, having a massive screen. Although Instagram is actually one of those ones which doesn't look too bad. Uh, full size, as you can see. Look at this. It's actually pretty cool. I think you'll agree. There we are, so it's close to my heart, an old pan book. Good stuff, eh? Excellent. Now, the only other thing I wanted to show you requires the old pen. So I've got, um, as you know, these Samsung tablets come with the, uh, the S Pen. So we've got three apps to look at. The first one is Pen Up, which is this one. And this is actually, this is the one I think which is Samsung based. I think it comes pre-installed and um, you can do like free hand drawing as well as like coloring and stuff I think that absolutely this is brilliant that latest coloring pages I actually started doing one I'm hoping let's see if I can find it um coloring has it got what well, I've saved I don't know because I did do one and I wanted to know um uh, I've not actually signed in and created anything yet but let's have a look if we just choose uh, that's a bit of a <laughs> It's a bit of a, a child's one, but what you'll get an idea. So you can have have this, you can have you can change the thickness and what have you. I have it quite thin, I'm gonna do it in red and um and you get like can you hear that? It almost feels like it's on actual paper because there's a little bit of haptic feedback. Absolutely mental it is, and I think if you want to de-stress for the day, a little bit of drawing, I went outside his legs there, a little bit of drawing, it's, it's quite cool actually, you know what I mean? Um, it really, really is. So uh, that may be uh, something you want to 
uh, pursue. I'm no artist. I mean, I'm really not, but I do, um, I do enjoy this sort of stuff. Oh, it's asking me to save it. No, I don't want to save it. Um, where are we? Oh, maybe I do want to save it. Artwork saved in my drafts. There we are. Okay, so that's one example. We've got another one, which is Sketchbook. This one apparently is highly rated on uh, things like the Google Play Store. So, I mean, it's so, so quick, isn't it? I mean, let's try a different, that's a spray one. This is a softer one again. I mean, you can see how fast it, it oh, that's the rubber. You can see just how fast it's just, and it picks up if I go very low and then to thick. So light press to thick press. So clever, so clever. And then you got your old Samson notes where it will, um, it will, um, uh, you can take notes on this, of course, and um, it'll, uh, it'll make them into handwriting if it wants to, you know. And it'll do shapes as well. It's giving us a little demo here. Change colour and thickness. So, yeah, okay. Got our little bar on the side there. Move the two bar to the left or the right. And you've got your pens as well. There we are. So we'll choose a red coat. Red, and let's see. Very similar to pen up. And uh, I wonder if it, we can get it to, to pick up some text. I at Jules, look, I did it absolutely amazing. Let's put it. This is an amazing tablet. I wonder if it'll pick that up. This is an amazing, and it didn't do this bit. No text. I didn't recognize tablet, maybe because I didn't do that. But look at that. How cool is that yes very very clever i think you could agree now obviously i've got loads of other apps as well so i wanted to have a quick look while we were here at just some of the streaming stuff so we've got the bbc iplayer uh, we know all about that don't we now if i put my pen on the back it acts as a slight angle so it gives us that less reflection so let's have a little look at this one so there we are and you can just go through choose your pro and you can see just great great quality on this one if we i don't know just have a look at something like master chef celebrity master chef are they celebrities well who can tell eh? i have a tv license let's just see how uh celebrity master, back again. there we are so let's just turn the volume down we don't want any uh, copyright strikes but there we are so look at that great picture. It is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It really, really is. And nice and quick and responsive. It's good stuff. Okay, Let's so we'll give try. Netflix a try here. And uh, as you can imagine, nice and fast. We've got a bit of Jaws there. We love Jaws, don't we? At least I do. Uh, one of my favourite favorite films of all time. Let's go to a bit of action here. Oh, it's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. Oh, dear. Shark fin, shark fin. <laughs> well, it is what it is. You know, it's, it, Netflix is going to be just fantastic on this. You know it's going to be fantastic. While we're looking at video apps, uh, let's look at uh, YouTube here. So this is one I selected earlier. So this is an aquarium in 4K. So I'm hoping, if I put it full screen here, I'm hoping that you're going to be able to really see just how incredible the uh, the screen is here. Just look at this. Does that look 4K to you? I mean, I know the screen of the actual device isn't 4K, but that still looks to me a million dollars. And I think that's one of the great things about this tablet. I mean, you're going to have this in a nice case. Content consumption, stuff like, you know, BritBox, Netflix, YouTube, Twitch streaming, just going to be terrific. Absolutely terrific. You're not going to go far wrong. Yeah, good stuff. So that's it for the more basic apps. I think we've seen them all here. And, uh, you know, 
it, it's just a great, great uh, piece of kit. Um, but so I've done retro games. I've done my sort of everyday apps here. Next time we're going to be looking at some of these, which are going to be uh, these are top end games, which are just running on this tablet and they just look absolutely outstanding and if there is anything else that i've come across in the meantime uh before next week i shall definitely uh let you know um so look out for that one in about a week's time uh, thank you for watching today if you've enjoyed it do please give the uh, video a, a thumbs up do let me know if you'd like to see some more samson s9 ultra content uh, on the channel i've certainly been loving this tablet so far it's been fantastic and there's uh, so much more to come if you'd like to see it Thank you very much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.